Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're going to be talking about how to jailbreak iOS 8.3 using the newly released Taiji Jailbreak Utility. For many of us, we've been waiting for this day for quite some time, so if you're interested in more jailbreak content, make sure you click on that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on anything jailbreak related in the future. Our first step that we want to do is to back up our iOS device to our computer using iTunes. We do this just so in case anything would go wrong during the process. I'm definitely not saying something will, but it's always good to be safe. So just in case, you will have a full backup of all the data, apps, contacts, uh, for other stuff that you want to keep on your iPhone. Once you've done that, you want to head over to your internet browser. And unfortunately, because this is a Windows-only jailbreak, you won't be able to do this on a Mac unless you have a Windows virtual machine. But that's just a little side note there. You want to head over to the website website taiji.com that's t-a-i-g dot com slash e-n for the english version just leave off the e-n if you want to read the standard chinese site once you're here just go ahead and click on the button in the middle of the screen and that will begin the download of the new taiji jailbreak utility for ios 8.3 it's going to be version 2.0 or higher if you're interested once it has finished downloading, I did skip over that part because it took quite a while for me, but once it has finished downloading, go ahead and locate it on your computer. Mine was stored conveniently in my downloads folder, and go ahead and launch it up. It should open with no issues whatsoever. Now, if you have an issue where it says you have an incorrect version of iTunes or iTunes is not working, to use this jailbreak, you have to have iTunes installed, and you actually want to have version 12.0.1.26 of iTunes installed as a very specific version, otherwise it might get stuck at 20%. And if your device does get stuck at 20% while doing this jailbreak, click on the eye in the top right corner of the screen and click on my video of how to fix that. I'm not going to talk about it in this video. There's just some steps you got to go through. It would take a really long time to explain. But if you have issues where it says no iTunes installed or cannot locate uh, iTunes files, download from here, just head over to that video in the top right corner of the screen and hopefully that will solve your problems. When you actually have the Taiji Jailbreak Utility opened up, it should load right away. And you'll see two boxes, one for Cydia, one for the 3K application. Now the 3K application is a third-party app store that you probably don't want unless you're from China because I believe it is written entirely in Chinese. So go ahead and uncheck that box down below. And when you're ready and it just has Cydia 1.1.16 I believe 16 installed, you can start the Jailbreak Utility by clicking that button right there. Now for me, it took probably five or six attempts or tries just to get the jailbreak to finally complete. I ran into this issue and that issue and this problem and that problem. Really the only advice I can give you after you have that correct version of iTunes installed is just to keep trying over and over again. Eventually the jailbreak tool will complete and your device will be jailbroken. As you guys can see right now, I fast forwarded through a lot of it. But you can definitely see all these different tries, probably four or five or six tries it took just for me to finally see that beautiful smiley face at the end that said jailbreak successful. And once you've done that, you can click on the green button at the bottom of your screen and you are done using your computer to complete this jailbreak. Now just go over to your device, slide to unlock, and look at this guys. Somewhere on your home screen, you will see that beautiful Cydia application launch it up and this takes probably longer than the jailbreak will even take in the first place. Cydia has to prepare all these files to get it to work properly. This took three or four minutes for me. It might take longer depending on the speed of your device. I'm sure an iPhone 6 will do this faster than maybe an iPhone 4S. But once that has completed, just go ahead, slide to unlock just one more time and you will be good to go. Your device will have restarted, go back to Cydia and it will refresh your sources. Congratulations! You have just jailbroken iOS 8.3. Of course, for more content on this new iOS 8.3 jailbreak, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on one of my future jailbreak videos. And if you did enjoy watching this video, you are also more than welcome to hit that like button down below. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you in my next video.